Hey Pisces, hope you guys are all doing great. So this is going to be your general love reading for July 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation. That is okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. Also, the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on with you in July 2022 in a love connection. All right, for the situation, we have the Five of Wands crossed by the Queen of Pentacles. There's some conflict here. Um, it could be involving other people. Um, I am kind of getting that for some of you, definitely that there might be another, um, like a third party involved, but we'll see more once we clarify and once we get deeper into the reading. Either way, it feels like there's a little bit of conflict, like just not figuring things out, not being on the same page, maybe not really agreeing on certain things here. Let's see, for your energy we have the Empress, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Wands. All right, Pisces. Um, I feel like, you know, you're, you have this confidence though. You have what it takes. It's like you have everything available to you from within that you need in order to find success. But I feel like what's happening here is that there's certain thoughts um, that are getting in your way, like just possibly some anxiety, which is, you know, can come from having negative thoughts, or it's actually like a vicious cycle here where your negative thoughts can create anxiety, and anxiety can create negative thoughts. And so there's a lot of worrying um, about an outcome or about finding success, possibly even within this connection or within your own self. Like if you can be good enough for this connection or if um, it can actually work out and be successful. Hmm. Let's see, for them, we have Justice. Okay, so Libra, some of you might be dealing with the Libra. The Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so, wow. This person seems to really want to either make the right decision or is trying to keep some kind of a balance here between the two of you and that could be manifesting in a number of ways however this person is definitely wanting things to be happy with you this is somebody who wants to have a union or a reunion with you and celebrate with you and actually i'm, I'm seeing even marriage all right three of cups and ten of pentacles together here definitely wanting some long-term commitment and stability with you Again, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, okay? So let's see the potential outcome here. We have the King of Swords, okay. Determinism here. Um, I'm actually seeing this as being like the resolution to that Nine of Swords, like really finding that a more um, logical and rational way of thinking rather than allowing thoughts to be all over the place. Let's clarify. And I feel like, you know, that's going to be a good thing. So let's see that Five of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Cups, the Sun, and Death. All right, so we also have Leo and Scorpio's energy um showing up so some of you might be dealing with a leo or scorpio or maybe one of you have any of these signs strongly in your charts this is definitely a very deep connection that you're having with this person um i feel like for a lot of you you know you've either had like past lives together um or you just feel like there's just something more spiritual that is connecting the two of you and so because of that you also feel like this is somebody that you can be happy with and i feel like I mean, this goes both ways. If you're feeling that, they're feeling that because that's what the connection is. Um, it also feels like there's a lot of longing for each other. And not only that, I'm more so getting that it's a longing for happiness in general. And that actually, you know, a part of that would be um, <laughs> to be together. 
but there's something here that is really really conflicting now it could be that like i said that there's another energy here a third party of some sort it doesn't have to be a relationship it could be anything i'm just getting really getting that with that queen of pentacles um and it's like like there's this ending to that <clears throat> there's an ending to that um but it feels like it's not really resolved it's like yeah it's something that's in the process of ending but there's still a lot of um, conflict and trying to sort through that and because of that like that might create some kind of conflict between you and the other person in some way or another even if it's not like very um, overtly expressed like it, it doesn't necessarily have to be the two of you arguing for example it's coming in more as some kind of a conflict or some kind of tension between the two of you and it's stemming from some kind of an ending that or a transition that one of you is going through. All right, Pisces, this feels a little complicated. Let's see the Empress for your energy. And we have the Chariot, okay, so that's Cancer. And the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, it feels like you're, I feel like this this um, energy of being in a higher sense of self-worth and in knowing your qualities and in just really being grounded within your own self and being, being stable and, you know, just feeling really secure um, with your resources, or even with your finances or just in your environment. I feel like that's something new for you. Like that's something that you're working towards and like i said it's there it's like it's a that energy is available to you but it's it's something new and so i feel like maybe that's why you're still stressing out and in whatever way that is in some way it's affecting your um connection or the way that the dynamic is playing out with this other person down here let's see that nine of swords And we get the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo is also here. This is definitely something that you can shift. That's the message here um, with the Wheel of Fortune. You can change these thought patterns. There are some kind of thought patterns here that are affecting you in a negative way. Um, when really, you know, it's like success is right in front of you for whatever it is that you want. You know, um, whether it has to do with this love connection or with... Um, your own self because then that in some way is you know connected to this love connection and that could be what the blockage is here um, for success whatever that is whatever that means to you okay um, concerning this connection and I do see you shifting that okay with the wheel of fortune and the hermit I feel like this is all about you know going within you know taking those deep breaths calming your mind and just sitting with yourself and being quiet, quieting out those thoughts. That's what needs to shift here. And as soon as you do that, bam, like there's the success. It's right there, it's right in front of you. So let's see, six of wands. Seven of pentacles and the nine of swords again. Yeah, the message can't get more clear than that. There's that nine of swords. Um, that's what's blocking that success. You know, it's like the more, the more energy and the more you feed those thoughts, right? The more that you are blocking that out. It, that's really all it is, you know, just get out of your head, get out of your head, you know, become like the hermit, you know, just go within and, and try to find that quietness, which I know is easier said than done. Um, but I'm seeing here that you will actually have, as I said, everything available to you to do that. You have all those resources. It's like just worrying about things that, you know, haven't happened. It's worrying about what might happen or, or what if this happens or what if that happens. And it's like, no, no, success is right there. It's just, it's like waiting for you. So let's see for this other person. Let's see, Justice. Okay, 
All right, and we have the Seven of Swords and the Two of Cups. Okay, so there's something here that this person is trying to balance out and wanting to be fair, you know, wanting to do the right thing. I feel like they're not really sure what that is um, concerning you. Like, they definitely want love, all right, with the Two of Cups here. They definitely have a lot of feelings for you, a lot of emotions. As I said before, you know, like, it goes both ways. You both feel the depth of this connection. But there's a part of them that feels like they need to hold back even though they don't want to. And I feel like, again, it's related in some way um, to these negative thought patterns that you know you've been engaging in somehow okay it's this is a general reading so the specifics are going to be different for each of you um, but yeah it's like almost like this person feels like they need to sneak away or stay away from this connection even though it's what they really want because they feel like that's the right thing to do. Whether it is or isn't, that's what they're feeling, though. They're feeling like this is the right thing to do um, for now. Let's see that Three of Cups. So I'm seeing here, I mean, a major, major, like, energy of wanting to reconnect and of wanting this commitment with you here. We have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Wow! They're seeing you as, like, this perfect couple. Like, they believe that the two of you can be perfect together. There's so much passion between the two of you. There's inspiration between the two of you. Like you feel like you lift each other up um, and that there would be just so much potential between the two of you. So, I mean, this person is definitely wanting this. Let's see. And I feel like, you know, this is, this is, I feel like, I feel like they're right, um, to be honest. Again, roles can be reversed, okay? Don't um, forget that. Let's see, Ten of Pentacles. The Four of Wands and the Moon. Okay, so Pisces. There's your energy showing up here. Again, this person wants stability with you. I mean, like I said, Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I said marriage just with that combination. And now we have the Four of Wands showing up. I mean, that's even more. <laughs> It can't get stronger than that. Um, this person is definitely wanting marriage, uh, but there's there's some fear around that or some doubt because they're not really sure possibly what's going on with you or um, what the right thing to do is here because of some kind of conflict. Again, there might be a third party. I feel like it would, it's, I actually feel like it's most likely on your end, to be honest here, of course, unless the roles are reversed. Um, but that's just how it's looking to me. So yeah, they're wanting this. They're wanting this. They're just not, and they want it with you. I mean, Pisces right here. But again, I feel like there, there's a little bit of a doubt as to whether, you know, this will happen. But I feel like it's mostly dependent on you, to be honest. All right, let's see that King of Swords for the potential outcome here. Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Wow, really powerful here. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's really, it's all about you grounding yourself. You know, um, getting, being determined to rid yourself of worries, worries that are not serving you at the moment. And it's okay to take a little bit of time here is what I'm getting. It's okay to take a little bit of time. It's like you're moving towards that emperor's energy, right? Really um, taking control. It does take a little bit of work from your end, but you're totally moving in that direction of, you know, just feeling more, more mature, more in control. And that's what this here is all about, that Wheel of Fortune. You know, taking control of your mind. Don't let it control you. Taking control over your own mind and over your own thoughts, step by step. And I feel like, you know, after that, like everything just, everything falls into place. All right, Pisces. Let's see. If this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. And let's see what the final message for you is. And we have compromise. Yeah, so take that as it resonates. Um, but I feel like, you know, maybe this person, you know, has... Um, 
maybe been giving something to you, you know, it's like their energy is open and it's like, okay, what, what is it that, you know, needs to be compromised here, which I don't really believe in having to compromise things. It, it really is a matter of perspective, like how exactly you interpret this. But yeah, sometimes, you know, we need to compromise, let's say, um, our ego, <laughs> right? Um, in order to move towards truth and towards what it is that we want. I actually feel like this is also saying, compromise that, yes, there is a way to work things out with this particular person here. Um, especially in terms of whatever that um, external influences here with that five of wands from the beginning. The conflict, I feel like, you know, whatever it is, it can be, it can be compromised and therefore moving towards success and commitment marriage even. All right, Pisces, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.